Okay, this is the FE350 I mentioned in the previous video, the good, the bad, the ugly, what are the club car wear limits, etc. This is the FE350 that's 0.5 mil over that had standard rings in it. It's four and a half thousandths oversized at TDC, about a thou and a half at BDC. You can still see the witness marks from the ring turnaround, some damage at the top of the cylinders from the ring turnaround, and also some scoring in the bore. I mean, it's just totally less than perfect. So all I've done with a cheap hone, now this isn't, I didn't use our son and Ann Jr. or send it out for the CV16. This is just a Lyle hone like you would use, uh, you get pick up at your local auto parts store. It's just, it just follows what's ever there. So that's why we just want to give it a, a light scrub with that kind of a hone because it follows whatever imperfections are there. If this had a, a bunch of taper, it will just make that taper worse. So we've just put a little crosshatch to give the rings a chance and left all the other blems in there. And uh, once again, this is, um, you know, way, way out of spec, but we're going to put it together and, and, you know, give you guys a frame of reference. If you've got something like this, you know, don't just junk it, give it a chance. But um, in the next shot, I'll have this thing hot running. I'll shoot it with the infrared and we'll, um, we'll just see how the oil consumption is, at least oil control. We'll be able to see that. So um, we'll see you in the next shot. Okay, this is the Max Oversize with 5 thousandths almost taper at TDC FE350 from the previous shot all back together. I'm just going to, I put about half an hour on it, so it's, uh, let me just grab the infrared gun here. Right now we're sitting, uh, you know, call it almost, uh, well, 100 degrees. And, um, you know, it's not obviously as hot as it's going to be in the cart when you're using it, but uh, it's hard to get you know without the dyno it's hard to get them really hot but i mean this thing runs like a top as they say that didn't smoke at all rings broke in right away i'm gonna grab my trusty uh, club car starter motor aka the uh, dewalt drill kind of hard to do with one hand i'll see if i can get this baby started <laughs> just hone as much as you have to and no more you don't need it to be pretty and you just got to get it happy enough that the rings will seat and as they say um, don't throw away your cores give them a chance now uh, in the next shot we'll be working on uh, the problem child this thing was uh, basically in a million bits and this has got another big problem with the bore but uh, I'll uh, you know give some more detail in the next shot so this is the uh, second engine I, I mentioned, um, the FE290 that was uh, uh, 0.5 mil over, but well and truly uh, beyond that. This is a little hard to show you, but you can still you can see. Well, it was 0.25, but it was it was worn through the next oversize. So you see that little scallop at the top of the bore, and uh, there's still a little tiny bit of a score in there that remained, and then over on this side. Uh, something similar. You can still see a little bit of witness from the top ring on the old uh, 0.25 mil piston. So, you know, it's only, you know, ten thousandths of an inch. That, but, but that's how badly worn this cylinder was. So now I'm going to put this engine together and we'll uh, test run it together and we'll give you a smoke report. Now that cylinder admittedly is better than the last one, uh, that FE350 that was the max oversized of the uh, five, almost five thousandths at TDC. But, uh, you know, with the score in the bore and this one being kind of, it's, it's actually quite worn at BDC too. If you, you look down there, you'll see uh, sort of near the turnaround, this thing was uh, worn to the next oversize as well. But uh, anyways, I'll get it together and we'll see how it runs. So this is the uh, FE290 from the previous shot all assembled here. I've got about uh, 20 minutes on it. I'll just grab the infrared gun and shoot the case. What do we have here? Ah, 94 degrees or something. But uh, uh, this thing runs like a top. Now this was 0.25 mil. Just as a, a reminder, it, um, it we went to, to uh, 0.5 mil, but it didn't quite clean up. The bore was really bell mouth. There's a couple of windows in it. But the truth is this engine runs like a top. So the point of this 
little video and and the the previous video kind of leading up to it what you know what are the club car wear limits good bad the ugly thing is that this is not perfect you can't send this out as a you know an oem uh, spec rebuild but the truth is it runs like a top um i'll just fire it up here in a second and show you but um yeah like i mean right from the first uh couple of rotations i mean it kicked the assembly lube out of it i mean you're fairly liberal with the oil when you're putting these things together but it within like i mean a couple of seconds it cleaned up and it's been fine ever since so i'm just gonna try and start it up with one hand again using the club car dewalt starter one second here So once again, don't just throw your stuff away because, you know, your local machine shop said it was no good. Even in my book, I mean, I'm pretty tight on the specs, but it's to do it perfectly. If you've got something that's a little bit banged up and, uh, you know, you're just using it around the cabin or the farm or maybe it's a utility vehicle at the golf course, you're not sending it out with the, uh, the customers. Um, this is perfect. I mean, just, you know, give the thing a chance. Anyways, I uh, really appreciate you guys watching my videos. See you later.